Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. What's for today? Monologue for level 3 certified interpreters. Today I will speak a monologue into three segments, just the same as in the exam. You're expected to start interpreting the segment 5 to 10 seconds after I finish speaking. Between the segments I will give you up to one minute to finish rendering the message. So get your pens and papers ready and let's start some practice together. I will start with the briefing. The following is a speech delivered by the Deputy Prime Minister of a country at the opening ceremony of a conference on advances in genetic science. The monologue starts now. This conference is indeed very timely. I say this because as most of you here today would agree, there is now growing public interests in the ethical and social issues surrounding advances in the biomedical sciences, especially in human stem cell research and cloning. When we talk about regenerative medicine, that is, the process of regenerating human cells, tissues or organs for therapeutic purposes, one critical issue that immediately comes to mind is obtaining a human stem cells. Just as organ transplantation has dramatically improved the survival of previously lethal diseases, scientists now know that products from stem cells also have the potential of providing effective treatments to a wide range of common diseases from diabetes to neurological disorders to heart failure. And even if regenerative medicine does not directly provide a cure for some debilitating conditions, it may lead to a new therapeutic approaches that may one day give doctors much more effective ways of managing the conditions than the currently available treatments. So, really, the question is not how, but when, these treatments will be a reality. Unfortunately, the impact and speed of change in biomedical research has also raised important ethical, legal and social questions. These are questions that we as a society must address collectively. One prominent issue that has come to the fore is the speed with which researchers discover totally new ways of manipulating genes. Just as the case with the internet and other fast-moving areas of modern technology, legislators and government regulators are finding it tough to try to keep up with the advances in biomedical research. So. The key now is striking the right balance. It is crucial that biomedical science be allowed to develop and grow for the benefit of mankind. But at the same time, we must also encourage more debate on the broader social and ethical issues, and to put in place strong safeguards to protect individual and public interests.
here is the end of the monologue. Thank you guys. I hope you have done well and you enjoyed this lesson and wait me with other lessons. Bye.